<laughs> Sorry, we're already starting. All right. Uh, hey, everybody, welcome to the uh, today to today's uh, lecture. Uh, this this from this point on, we'll be using Zoom. I'll be using Zoom to record the lectures and to upload and to share my screen and all that kind of stuff. Um, and that will avoid the craziness of the uh, of the high pitch squeal that came through last week uh, when I used a uh, this program that I had been using for a while, uh, Screenocast-O-Matic. I used it all last year and it was fine, but then this year it just started doing this stupid uh, squeal. So now we'll switch to just recording on Zoom and uploading the um, the video to YouTube if you're to watch. Okay, so let's get started because I really want to get this done in about 20 minutes um, for y'all uh, and for me, okay? <laughs> I have class that starts in about 25 minutes. All right, so uh, you'll begin this week, if you have our 1101 schedule, not 1102. Um, this week we have how to edit a paper, edit a person's paper from the community discussion board, okay? So let me show you what you're gonna do. You are here at our page, okay? Um, I got a lot of people to send me their drafts. If you send me a rough draft, you might not see yours on here simply because, wait a minute, hold on. am I sharing my screen? I don't think I'm sharing my screen. Let's go back. So here's the 1101 due dates, okay? How to edit a paper. Right there, that's what we're doing. We're editing a person's paper from the community discussion board, okay? Now, New share, go to Blackboard. Um, if you sent me your essay to to use for this live um, for this live uh, edit, it um, don't be offended if I didn't use yours. Okay, not because it wasn't good or whatever, but I did get a lot of submissions. Okay, all right. So this week, what you do is go to lessons, go to um, lesson two. You will scroll down to the um, community review. <laughs> uh, right, this is not due yet. I, I am recording this in the future. Okay, hopefully here you'll see a bunch of uh, a bunch of submitted uh, papers. Okay, and what you'll do is you'll uh, click on somebody's paper. Okay, you will reply to them and say, uh, hey, hey, I will edit your paper for you. Okay, and then hit submit. Once you've done that, no one else can edit that paper. Okay, uh, we, we want people to be able to uh, we want everyone to have the opportunity to get their paper edited and people won't get their papers edited if everyone decides to edit the same paper so uh now if you go on here and all the papers have already been accepted have already been edited okay um give it a, give it a day if you can now if you're on a tight schedule like let's say this is like saturday night and uh you have you only have this like one day one night to get this work done, and every single paper has already been claimed, then you may claim someone else, and then you may claim the same paper. Then you may say, hey, I'm also gonna edit your paper because there aren't any other papers available for me to edit, which is fine, okay? It's fine, okay. So uh, you're gonna say, I'm gonna edit their paper, okay? You're going to download their paper, download it. Like Here are the papers I've downloaded, okay? And then you're going to go to back to lessons and you're going to scroll down to oops, lesson two and you are going to download the rubric for editing edit the rubric for editing okay and you're going to click on that and it's going to open up um this document okay now, one thing I did, I did not add on here uh, yet, which I'll add today when you see it, it will be here, okay? It's gonna say, uh, 
uh, editor's name, which is what you'll put your name. Okay, you put your names so like me right now. I'm editing a paper. Someone put Jeremiah Fires, and then on the other side it will say writer's name. Okay, so like for this lecture, I'm, I'm editing. Uh, this person's paper, whose name is Marie Cherie. <laughs> That's not really her name. I changed it. Marie Cherie. Okay, what a creative name. Um, I guess I should. There we go. Okay, and then I'll put you put the person's name there that you're actually editing. Okay. All right. So these are the things that you're looking for when you're editing someone's paper. Um, MLA formatting. Last name capitalized in page numbers in top right corner of each page. Yes or no? You may leave comments if you want to. Okay. Heading correct. Yes or no? Double spaced. Yes or no? No additional spaces between lines. Ooh, I'm gonna add this to the to it, which I will. By the time you down, you download this, this will be updated. Um, it'll be writers first and last name. So here, I just realized this. I'm, I'm switching back and forth, and I don't know if y'all can see that. You cannot. I am sorry. Zoom sucks in that way. I hate having to switch back and forth between um, um, windows. Okay, so this is the document that you downloaded. Okay. Um, All right. So you're gonna have your edit. The, you're gonna have your paper that your 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 rubric. And then you're also gonna have pulled up is the paper that you are editing, which I said the first one I'm gonna edit is Marie Cherie's. Okay. And so um, you will look at hers, okay, and you will start filling out the rubric. So let's see. Last name capitalized. Page and page numbers in top right corner of each page. If you downloaded the the, um, the template that I had posted, then you'll be able to, um, yours will already be set up and you'll just have to like double click here to put in your name. If you created it on your own, you need to make sure that, that you've done it correctly, okay? So like you just double, double click. Some people might have theirs like this. And that's that's incorrect. It needs to be capitalized. Okay. Last name capitalized. Like, like, like the whole thing has to be capitalized. Every letter. Okay. So then um, on this, I would say if it says last name capitalized and page numbers, okay. Last name, page number. Last name, page number. Last name, page number. Last name, page number. This person wrote a lot. Last name, page number. Great. It's, it's the same. It's consistent. So then I will just use the highlighter. Say yes. Okay. Writer's first and last name. Oh, I, I, oh, I did the wrong yes. What a dork. What a dork I am. Okay. Now let's do heading. Writer's first and last name. Marie Cherie. Mr. Byers. Mr. Byers. English 1101. English 1101. The due date, which the due date is going to be um the fifth i believe is that right let's look on our sheet yeah the fifth is the due date so this would be um oh no the rough draft is due this is no i'm stupid the rough draft to be submitted Submit um, first draft of illustration essay. That will be on 829. Yeah. Okay. Which this person has. 829. So good. Okay. So yes. All that is yes. Okay. Um, title. Ooh, I need to add this to the sheet. Like I said, I'll update this sheet for you when y'all get it. Okay. Um, 
should be a title. Okay, all um, first letters of of non articles as an in article, small words in on. Okay, um, etc. For, for all first letters of non articles words should be capitalized should be capitalized i'm just gonna spell that i did but luckily i have spell check all right yes or no so like when i'm editing this paper i see that look the B should be capitalized, the R should be capitalized, the M should be capitalized, the T, S, P, I, N, uh, no, uh, T, and S. All those two should be capitalized. So I would highlight, no, no, okay. All right, double spaced. Now the best way this looks, oh, no, okay. Best way to know if it's double spaced is do select all, okay. I do control A. Control A is, is select all, okay? Then I go up here to paragraph. See paragraph? I go this little square, click. Okay, now this looks good. Line spacing, double, okay? Before zero, after zero. That's exactly how it should be, okay? This tells me that, that the lines are all correctly spaced, okay? If this was blank, that would be a problem. It has to say double, okay? All right, so um, double spaced, yes, it's double spaced. But sometimes though, just because it's double spaced doesn't mean people just don't get a little clicky with their paragraphs, with their um, with the return with the enter button. D says no additional spaces between lines. Well, this is a big space. That's not how it should look. It should look like that. Okay. No additional space. This is the whole reason why we, why we indent. You indent to indicate a new paragraph. Um, block paragraphs is when you have a space between paragraphs and you, you don't indent. There's no reason to indent if you have block paragraphs because you have a space that indicates when there's a new paragraph. But we don't have a space between paragraphs. Therefore, we indent, okay? So for no additional space between lines, I would highlight no. Okay, that, all right, it's not true, there are. And then I'm gonna add something else. Every paragraph is indented, yes or no. And in this case, I'm gonna be hitting every paragraph is indented. That's an yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I'm gonna hit yes. All right, so part one, MLA formatting is done, okay? And you don't have to write comments. Once again, you just hit yes, 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 no, yes, no, okay? And the no's are things that they need to fix. The yeses are a way to go, okay? All right, so now we have the introduction. Six or more lines. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're gonna say yes. There's at least six lines, which makes a good introduction. Contains a thesis statement. Okay, let's see here. Um, best rock musicians treat social and political issues in their songs. Rock and roll and its rebellious yet influential members have persuaded the outcome of major issues in social and political history. Musicians have used their music to, to aid treatment and repair landmarks throughout history, such as racism, world war, and economic disasters. Boom, that's the thesis right there, okay? I know exactly what's gonna be talking about, because look, um, first body paragraph, desegregation, racism. And we have um, Vietnam War, okay? That correlates to war. And then economic disasters. Uh, 
I think. Oh yeah, this has to do with with um with uh loss of food, curing hunger, change the world. Okay, that's economic because people are, have, are too poor to eat. Great. So that's a yes. All right, I'm gonna say yes. So introduction looking good. Okay. Raw culture ushered the way of desegregation in the 1950s. All right, desegregation. So it's helping with racism. Then we have Elvis Presley, that, that's specific. Um, separate but equal, okay. We have specific examples of songs. We have specific examples of the people, all right. Um, cop killer, okay. So look, you know, you, when you editing this, all right, um, you know, I'm not going to have you necessarily edit for grammar because not everyone knows grammar, okay? Now, when you're editing this, I do want you to actually read every line to make sure that it makes sense, okay? That it makes sense uh, that uh, you understand it, okay? And um, as you're doing it, you want to start marking off like, okay, it has a claim. Yes, it, it, it has a claim. And the claim here is anything before the specific examples, okay? So here is the claim, and then we get straight into the examples, which is great. So that's uh, less than 20%, which is great. Okay, yes. Does it have support? Yes, it has support. Okay. Oh, this right here should be C. As analysis, okay. So our support is we have Ellis Presley, okay. Um, now this line is is support is analysis. His bold breakout into rock and roll resulted in a shift of, of the then stereotypical beliefs. Okay, so we have the example, and then we have the effect. Support that's analysis. His influence held open doors for acceptance. That's analysis. During this time, Nina Simone, okay, some more support. All right, uh, they kept saying, go slow, create my, to quote lyrics from the song. She's referring to, all right, so now this is analysis, analysis, analysis. So, you know, it, it's, it's pretty good between, uh, between an example and then explaining why that matters, okay? So I'm just going to say, this person did a good job of integrating support with analysis, there's, there's some support and then there's some explanation support and which is totally fine. So I'm going to say yes to both of these. Okay. To all of these, this looks good. Um, body paragraph two. All right. Lowest points in history. The duration of the Vietnam War produced some of the greatest rockets of all time. Okay. So, um, I, th I think that this claim is weak, okay? And so I might say something like, be more specific about times of war rather than lowest points, okay? All right, uh, I'm not requiring you to write to write comments, but I think if, if it might be helpful for you to write comments to the people, okay? All right. Um, then we get down to this is our first uh, our first support. So okay, I'll read it. Um, This is a pretty long analysis, a pretty long um, example. So, you know, support, support is the example. The analysis is the explanation, okay? Envision, okay. Tall, dark man approaches him. In the morning, he's doing this, he's doing that. This is telling a story, okay. Okay. So that's a pretty large chunk of, of 
support. So gathering musicians of peace and musicians of support help Americans express opinions the way better understand the other side. Through emotion and musical freedom, people are able to begin the much needed conversation about the happening conflict that tore apart the fabric of politics. So like to me, I think if I was reading this, I would say this is, this is a lot of support and not a lot of analysis, okay? So it has support, yes. No more than 30% of the paragraph, no. Does so it have analysis? Yes. Is that analysis at least 50% of the paragraph? No. So that one needs to be worked on a little bit, okay? Paragraph three, same thing. Okay, do the same thing, okay? Uh, conclusion, do the same thing. Number of words, this, this has three, 1350. I wanna type in 1350, all right? And it needs to be at least 600. So uh, yeah, they're in the range, <laughs> they're okay. They wrote more than they should have. It's okay. They wrote more than they needed to. It's a better word I should have, should have used. Okay. So then once this is all done, once you've done your, yes, yes. Uh, I didn't read the, this third body paragraph for y'all. I'm just guess. I'm just assuming. I'm just imagining. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Um, I would uh, save this. Okay, um, and then I will, then you will, let's see here. Okay, so um, once you're done with that, once you're done with uh, your document, okay, you go back to the, um, the discussion board. You go to your partner right here. All right, and you should, let's see here. Yeah, then you attach a file. Okay, you attach the document that you did, okay? Um, you can do, you know, the person's name, whatever, and then hit submit, okay? So that way they can look at your response then you go to lessons back to lessons lesson two scroll down to where it says peer review okay and this is where you will submit your you will go to uh you'll submit the same document okay getting a paper all right and then um, I'll, you know, maybe if you could put your name, all right, whatever your name is, let's say you're Oliver Plath, okay? So that way I know, you know, I just wanna make sure that I get you the right grade. Oh, wait, hold on. What's wrong? Okay, browse my computer. Maybe because I'm not a student or maybe you shouldn't write anything there. Oh, I'm previewing the assignment, <laughs> right? Because I am the uh, I'm the uh, teacher. Okay, so cancel. So I can't do that. But anyways, you will submit yours, your peer review there of what you did. Okay, and that way um, your partner has it, and then you get the points for it. Okay, if you if you give your partner the document, but you don't submit it to, to this to this Dropbox right here, you're not gonna get the points. Okay. So make sure that you actually, um, and then if you submit it here, but don't post it back to your partner, then that doesn't benefit them either, okay? So make sure you do both. Both, as even says here, submit your peer review document here after attaching it to your partner's discussion post. Okay, all right, so that's what you're doing this week. Uh, you're reading someone's paper and you are filling out, and think about this, okay? Fill out that form, um fill this out the way that you would want it filled out for you okay uh, which means that if you have the time and you have uh uh you have the time and you understand that like comments are always good and that you would like comments 
then, you know, fill in some lines, give them feedback. You can type in this. Okay. It's your, it, I mean, you're downloading it. So um, if you feel like, like, you know, when I was a subway artist, okay. A sandwich artist at subway, I always made the sandwiches for people the way that I would want to have them. I put as much quality and work and effort into their sandwiches uh, that I would put into my own. So the same here, when, when you're editing someone's paper, try to put as much effort into it as you would like for others to put effort into yours, okay? Provide as much feedback as you want to, all right? You don't have to change anything on their paper, on their essay. You just read and you mark here, okay? Alrighty, if y'all have any questions, uh, then be sure to send me an email and I will answer them. I will see y'all, um, I'll see you later. Alrighty, bye-bye.